how are you? I'm Tabitha, Tabitha Cartwright. But you didn't ask. No, I didn't. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm just so nervous. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? It's only for the new namesake character for Drew Studios. I mean, my gosh, we are in Joey Drew Studios, isn't it exciting? I'm excited, anyway. They have so many questions on this sheet, too. Uh, did you already fill yours out? Are we supposed to give it to the girl out front, or are we supposed to- Sweetheart, were you saying something? Oh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make a bit of conversation. You're auditioning for the part of Alice Angel, right? Yes. <laughs> Are you also? I didn't see you with your sheet. <laughs> That's so adorable that you're still trying. The part was already filled, though. Oh. It can't be. I, I just talked with... No, they won't tell you that. But it is. Mr. Drew and I were at dinner the night before last, and he told me... None of the girls here are getting callbacks. This is a formality. He called me Alice, you know? It was so sweet. Oh, I see. But you know Mr. Drew. That's pretty incredible. Isn't it? But I mean, I might as well try. Maybe they can pick me up for another role if Mr. Drew likes me. Oh, of course. I'm sure you'd make a great moose or something in the background. <laughs> yes, well, I'll give it my all. I, I want to impress Mr. Drew. You do that, honey. Uh, we're ready for the next girl, Tabitha Cartwright. Oh, that's me. I guess I'm on. Oh, I, I didn't catch your name. That's because I didn't give it, honey. Oh, I see. Well... Good luck! Hmm. Uh, if you could stand on the X, please. I'll get the camera focused so we can begin. The girl out front gave you the lines, right? Of course. I wasn't expecting a camera for a voice roll. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're all getting surprises today. Seriously, we are. Oh, gosh, wait. It, uh, it, it's just... Such an honor to meet you, Mr. Drew. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not Joey Drew. I'm Robert Kirk. I'm actually. I'm. I'm a songwriter here. See, I, I was asked to come up for the initial auditions as a casting director to check the voices, make sure you can carry a tune, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Part of the part of the big thing of being Alice, of course, will be the the singing. So, look, it it's confusing for me too. All right, it's. Drew is, uh, he's, he's an interesting boy. <laughs> just want to be sure that you can look good for camera, so we're, we're reviewing the footage later on with the other girls as well, so if you, if you make it to the next round, you'll meet Mr. Drew. But now, now you got me. Oh, oh, I see, I'm so sorry. But the role is still available then? To, to get to round two? The role? Uh, you mean, you mean Alice Angel? I'm sorry, am I am I confused? You were you were auditioning for Alice today, right? You were Oh no, I am. I, I was just talking with Oh, I'm sorry, never mind. <clears throat> I'd love to audition for Alice. Well then, audition away. Just look into the camera, read the lines as you think Alice Angel would. Uh feel free to improvise if you think it fits the character better, but keep in mind the direction that we're trying to take Alice in. Boris, even an angel has her moments. Bendy? Why, he's just my darling little dancing demon. I'm positive he won't cause you too much trouble. Oh, Bendy, you never learn. I bet you didn't think it would end this way. You daring devilish dancing demon? You need to look before swinging to the tune of the moon and stars. <laughs> Hello? I'm looking for Miss Tabitha Cartwright. She was in for an audition with Joey Drew Studios a week ago. Oh my goodness! Hello, yes, this is Tabitha! Oh, uh, Miss Cartwright, this is this is Robert Kirk. We met during the, your audition. Oh, yes, Mr. Kirk, how are you? Doing fine. Uh, listen, I, I love the way that your voice sounded, and after showing it off to Mr. Drew, 
We'd, we'd both like you to come back, and we'd like to hear you once again. Mr. Drew liked me? Enough to want to hear you in person. Uh, I don't know what to say. Well, we have scripts for that. Tomorrow afternoon, if you could come down to the studio, we'd, we'd love to have you read a few for us. Oh, of course I'll be there. All right. See you tomorrow, Miss Cartwright. Yes, yes, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kirk. Did you have something else you wanted to say? Tabitha? I'm... I, I'm sorry. Who is this? Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. We met the other day at the audition, remember? Oh, oh, of course. I'm sorry, I didn't remember- I heard that you've been called back. I did. How could you know that so quickly, though? I know, Mr. Drew, honey. Of course I knew. And besides, your phone number was on that little paper you were flashing around me. I had to call and congratulate you. I see. Thank you. I suppose the role was still open. It wasn't, but I suppose you impressed them so much that they allowed you to compete as well. I have to say that impresses me as well. And to celebrate, I'd love to take you out on lunch. Oh, I couldn't impose on you like that, but I appreciate it. I insist, please. We're both working in this industry together, and I think you've earned quite a bit of respect from me. I know that I seemed a bit unfair last week, and I believe I owe you this. Please? Well, thank you. All right. Wonderful. We'll meet at this cafe in town just a walk from the studio. It's simply to die for. Really. Oh, well, isn't this the quaintest little cafe I've ever laid eyes on? I simply have to try one of those danishes there. I understand, though I should warn you. They are drier than they look. Oh, I don't really mind. You know, I had a question about the Alice roll. You said it was closed. I wonder, do you really think I'm good enough for them to pit the two of us against one another? Honey, it's a possibility. Some men like the sound of a younger woman, but from my understanding, they just love a woman with experience. If you get what I mean. I think so, yes. Well, anyway, I can't tell you how refreshing it is to have some kind of competition. It gets boring sometimes, knowing that the role is all yours. Oh. I suppose that makes some kind of sense, yes. Hello, ladies. What'll it be for you? Oh, can I get a large cup of coffee? Cream and sugar, too? Sure thing, miss. And for you, ma'am? I'll take a coffee. Black. All right, coming right up. So? You said you knew Mr. Drew. What can you tell me about him? What's there to tell, really? He's enigmatic and aloof, just like a lot of company founders. But he's also rather generous. I mean, they did like your take, after all. I suppose he knows when he needs to be charitable. Oh, I highly doubt it's anything to do with charity. I wouldn't be surprised if they were holding auditions to find a younger, more malleable actress. One who wouldn't mind getting her hands dirty every once in a while. Darling, my hands are plenty dirty. Here you go, ladies. Two cups of joe. Pipe and hunt just the way you like them. Oh, sorry. Can I get one of those danishes to go with it? I'm so sorry, I forgot. No problem, ma'am. I'll go grab it. Be back in just a jiffy. Thank you so much. You know, they say the danishes here are made fresh. But I think it's all false advertising. I wouldn't doubt that your danish is one from last week or something. You be careful, you hear? Well, I appreciate you looking out for my health, but I simply need to try one. I've not eaten all morning, and I'm positively famished. <laughs> Here you go, ma'am. If you'll be needing anything else, just ask, okay? Oh, of course. Oh, my goodness. This has got to be the best-tasting danish I've ever had. You clearly don't get out much then, honey. Believe you me. <laughs> 
I have no idea what you mean. It's flaky, it's buttery, and it's got this wonderful drizzle. But it lacks pizzazz. But it doesn't lack in sweetness. You've got it all over you now. Here, let me help you with that. Oh! My dress! Oops. Clumsy me. Why don't you go to the washroom and get yourself cleaned up? I'll take care of this. I... Uh, yes. I'll be just a moment. I hope. Do you need help with that, ma'am? It looks like an awful spill. It'll be quite alright, thank you. I'll see to it that it's all straightened out. I appreciate the offer, though. Would you like me to top the lady's cup off, or... Say, is that some kind of ink or something that you're pouring into her cup? This? Oh, it's just something I took from the studio. Can be ink, it's from Mr. Drew's stash. Just a small nip of liquor. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we don't allow that at this establishment. She's very nervous for her big role. You understand, of course. This is just to take the edge off for her. You know how it is to take the edge off, right? Well, I guess when you put it that way. As long as you don't tell anyone, okay? It'll be our little secret, honey. You're a doll. I can't believe I had that spilled on my new dress. Oh, I do hope it dries before we get to the audition this afternoon. It'll be all right, honey. Why don't you drink some of that coffee instead of letting it just dry on you? Sounds like a great idea. Maybe it'll help with my nerves. I'm sure it will. Have you heard the talk, Tabby? About the ink machine? I don't think so. Hmm. Interesting. I figured someone would have said something to you about it. Those cartoons of Joey's are... So lively, aren't they? Oh my, yes. I've always loved... <clears throat> oh. Are you alright, sweetheart? Y yes Of course, I I'm just a little light-headed is all. Well, the jitters can do that. Maybe not so much coffee at once. If you'll excuse me, dear, I'm going to powder my nose. It's going to take all I have to make sure I win the role from you. Uh, of course. Please. I I'll be waiting. <coughs> no. You won't. Huh. Is it, uh, just you? Miss Cartwright seemed really excited over the phone. It, it, a little strange. Must have been cold feet. It's an extremely large role. Well, yeah, I guess when you're right, you're right. Shame. I was looking forward to hearing her again. No competitions left for you then, miss. Come on in. I'll introduce you to Mr. Drew. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you are... Susie. Susie Campbell. Hey there, kids, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta. Just wanted to say thanks so much for listening. You guys are what makes this channel worthwhile. There'll be new horror stories every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, as well as gaming live streams every Friday and Sunday night. 
please help support on patreon.com slash Mr. Creepypasta, and you can hear me as well as many other Creepypasta narrators live 24-7 at scrmradio.com. Sweet dreams. <laughs>